Hey everyone, it's Kevin Wallace again. Let's take a look at another Cisco Unity Connection video training lab. Here we want to take a look at the system call handler. The system call handler is primarily used for greetings and these greetings can offer different options to a caller. And what we want to do in this video training lab is to create a system call handler with a number, a directory number of 2222 where callers are going to state their name and then they're going to connect into a meet me conference. Their name is going to be played out to the conference creator before that person joins and the conference creator is going to have the option of allowing them to join or not. Before we do any configuration in Unity Connection we've got a little bit of work to do in uh, Cisco Unified Communications Manager specifically the SIP trunk that we're using for one of our integrations. Let's go check it out. The CUC SIP trunk. We want to make sure that a couple of check boxes are checked. Let's scroll down just a bit and we want to make sure that redirecting diversion header delivery inbound and outbound are both checked. We also want to have a directory number. Let's go check out our directory number and I already have this created. A directory number of 2222 and it's using the voicemail profile that we created in an earlier video training. It's using the voicemail profile of SIP Connect and notice that it's set to forward all of its calls to voicemail. So as soon as somebody calls this, off it goes to voicemail. We also have a meet me number already created for a conference call. If we go under call routing and select meet me number pattern and do a find, you'll see that we have 2220 and it belongs to the internal partition. That's the groundwork we have to make sure is done on communications manager. Now let's go over to Unity Connection. And if we go under call management, system call handlers, let's create a new one. Let's say add new. And let's call this Meet Me. We're going to create a call handler for a Meet Me conference. And we do not need to enter an extension here, by the way. Let's save this. And under the Edit menu, let's go to Transfer Rules, go into the Standard Transfer Rule, and we want to transfer calls to 2220. And that's the number of that Meet Me conference you recall. Let's select the Transfer Type Supervised Transfer and check the boxes ask me if I want to take the call and ask for the caller's name. Let's save that. Now let's create a forwarded routing rule. We go under call management, call routing, and in a previous video we took a look at a direct routing rule. Now let's look at a forwarded routing rule. This call is going to be forwarded from 2222, so we're going to use a forwarded routing rule. Let's add a new one, and this is going to be for a call forwarded from 2222. I'll just call it 2222. Let's save that and let's say what we want to happen when a call gets forwarded is we want to send it to the call handler that we created called Meet Me. Let's save that and we don't want this to apply to everyone so let's add a routing rule condition to say if the forwarding station if the forwarding station equals 2222 remember it's set to forward all calls to voicemail that's when we want this rule to kick in. Let's save that and let's test it out. First I'm going to go over to directory number 2001 and establish the Meet Me conference. I'm going to go off hook. I'm going to select the Meet Me soft key and I'm going to dial 2220. I'm now connected to the conference. Now I'm going to go over to directory number 2002. Let's go off hook and I'm going to dial 2222, the number that always gets forwarded to voicemail, 2222. And it's asking me who's calling. Kevin Wallace. Wait while I transfer your call. Call from Kevin Wallace. To take the call, press 1. To have the caller leave a message, press 2. And we got a little feedback there when that happened, but did you understand what happened right then? On 2002, it asked me to state my name, and then after I stated my name, it announced my name into the Meet Me conference. I heard that on 2001 and I was prompted as to whether or not I wanted to take the call. I was told press 1 if you want to take the call and I did and 2002 was joined into that Meet Me conference. And that's an example of a system call handler where again what we did, let's make sure we're visualizing this correctly, let me bring up my topology again. What we did was we created a Meet Me conference with a number of 2220 
we created a number, a directory number of 2222 that was always going to be forwarded to voicemail. Then from 2001, I dialed in to the Meet Me Conference 2220. I established the Meet Me Conference. Then I went to 2002 and I dialed 2222. And 2222 is set to forward all calls to voicemail. When that call was forwarded to Cisco Unity Connection, and Cisco Unity Connection, if you recall, let me show it to you again, had a forwarded routing rule which said if the forwarding station is 2222, and it was, remember what the rule was? The rule said send the call to the Meet Me Call Handler. And uh, do you remember what the Meet Me Call Handler was? The Meet Me Call Handler had a transfer rule for standard that said we were going to transfer calls to extension 2220. That's the Meet Me Conference. And we said it was going to be a supervised transfer, and we set up our call screening options for that supervised transfer. Specifically, it's going to ask the conference creator if they want to take the call, and it's going to prompt the caller for their name. And that's what we heard when directory number 2002 wanted to join that Meet Me conference.